Yo, what's up guys? Finally here, the RTA tier list season 16. It's been a long wait. I was collecting some more dating and procrastinating and that kind of jazz. So, well, it's finally here. Let me tune down the music but just a little bit. Um, yeah, I think let's just get going. So, as before, I'm using these turns with like 195, that kind of stuff, all the way to like 50 and then trash. Why? Well... I just got used to it and I like using them. You could say like this is SSS, this double S, this is S, uh, A, B, C, whatever. But at some point, like when I developed the tier list, I kind of give like an explanation. Okay, this and this kind of range means this and this for the units and that kind of stuff. So with that said, also all of these units that I place here somewhere doesn't necessarily mean that if a unit is low placed, that the unit is necessarily bad. It's just less versatile not that great but it can still be used like a high-end player or a low-end player can still have like really good um potential and success with all of these units so therefore don't feel discouraged if your units are low uh lower placed or some of the units that are really high placed but you can't really make them work or anything like that so that kind of stuff my chat is on the right side so i'll be looking over for that or like every once in a while also for the person who made this i have no clue where i can actually see who created this but thanks for updating it with all of the units out there pretty much possible even including these units there are new units upcoming in the end i will also talk a little bit about that how they would fit in the current meta if they have like certain skills then they would if they don't have those kind of skill sets they won't um so yeah, I guess let's just get going. Also, same as the LD tier list, I'm gonna go over. Oh, there's gonna be so much fucking work. Like this video just for that and just 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 subscribe to the channel and whatnot. I'm gonna make a timestamp for every unit I place in the tier list. If I switch a unit, I also make a timestamp for that. So there's gonna be a shit ton of timestamps. This video is probably gonna be like an hour and a half, two hours long. Um, so I'm gonna be timestamping like probably like a hundred plus something units. So that's gonna be a big time effort So let's just get going um, I'm gonna go like wherever I see a unit. I just place it in there Apparently, it's kind of selected by five stars at the bottom, which is pretty nice like five stars in that at the bottom so the units at would have been nice if that was reversed because I don't really care about these first like three stars and that kind of stuff, but okay Good enough. Good enough Let's just get going. I just like put a an into like I just put a unit in there and that kind of stuff and then keep going. Um, my internet currently is a little bit bad. It goes up and down with for my uh, uh, Twitch as well. So uh, that's pretty annoying. That is pretty annoying. But still, I'm recording this video, so the record will go on. I hope the internet gets back at some point. So, I um, just explained like the whole concept of uh, the video. I'm just gonna go over like whatever unit I see coming by and then I just drag it in there. So, I wanna start off with someone that's been really back in meta and it's been insanely good. And do we actually have these units ordered by. What are they ordered by? If it's Monkey Kings, yes, yes, yes. Does this is this list actually complete? Wait, wait. Is this list actually complete? We sh shouldn't we have more units than this? Because if this list is not complete, does anyone spot Dragon Knights? I see dragons, I see druids, I don't see dragonites, which is an issue. It pretty much is every unit, but am I blind or do I just don't see any dragonites? That would suck pretty hard if this list is not complete. Chat help me with this one. I could be blind, like if you're looking at that many pictures, it's it's annoying to see everything, but... 
feel like we're missing Dragonites. Is Dragonite the only thing we're missing or are we missing more? Thank you, Davis. Um, hmm. Beast Riders are in there. Damn. Hmm, are they maybe located somewhere else? Would it make sense? Issue is also like, if that's the only one that's bitrate is a little low. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Annoying, annoying internet. Annoying internet. Not seeing also. Are there also are there more missing? Because if it's just the dragon eyes missing, I don't mind. But if there's more than that missing, then I can't really use this list. Let me check in game. So we do have like monkeys. We do have those. We do have those. You have those. those kind of seems like everything is there except slayers there's there uh chimeras are there the year the chimeras mm, oh curled girls oh, curled girls we have um Josephine, what's it called? Paladins. Paladins are there as well. Pandas are there. Archangels. Archangels I was not like scrolled up high enough for. Okay, so I guess Dragon Knights. I'm gonna put another unit for Dragon Knights. So I'm actually gonna place those units first. And those are gonna be Dragon Eyes, and I'm gonna get questions the whole freaking stream. Why is that that unit there? Um, but what resembles a Dragon? What looks close to a Dragon Knight? I don't know. Yeah, Ar Archangels are here as well. They're they're at the A. Yeah, the the Dragon Knight should be because it's actually ordered by the. Um, non-awakened name and then so the dragonites should like here are dragons so dragonites should be like around here as well mm. no it's the list doesn't really work like that it should be here but i'm just gonna place other units as representing of dragon knights because if it's the only thing missing i can just easily like uh change it later the only thing is during this stream it will be like annoying for people to look at like hey what is the dragonite so i think for that reason i'm gonna start off with the dragonite and let's see i just pick whatever unit what kind of looks like use oh yeah, yeah yeah use magic mics this this guy is smart this guy is smart where are my magic mics at net force Ta, 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 ta. Magic mic, magic mic. Please tell me you. Yeah, yeah, we have magic mics. Let's go. Okay, Ragdoll. Boom. Okay, so this is Ragdoll. All the magic mics are uh, a Dragon Knight. So this is Ragdoll. Reason why Ragdoll is currently number one is simply if we go by pick rate, uh, pick rate, Ragdoll is still one of the highest picked units in the game one of the highest win rates in the game uh up here it's just it's a it, it's a really good unit against the current meta the current meta is actually um high speed aoe bruiser cleaves that kind of stuff which ragdoll actually fits in as a good unit but he also counters it and therefore it is really good death knights are close to dragon i'm gonna use magic mics I, i'm I, I gotta use magic mics so that's one magic mic. 
Um, let's place in all the magic mics just to, to, to start off with it. Uh, magic mic, magic mic. Da, 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 da. Here. Uh, Jaeger. I might switch you up later. What's actually the win rate of Jaeger? Let's check that. Jaeger's 52. It's pretty good, but I think it's mostly used with... Um, it's mostly used with Ragdoll and that kind of stuff. But I'm gonna place you here. I probably change him maybe up or one down later. Jaeger's still a really good unit, but it doesn't necessarily really hard counter the current meta. Then we have this is Leo, and I think Leo is really high up there because also if you check the win rate of Leo. Leo has a 51 win rate with a really high pick rate, and it's just because it's a really solid counter against the... Um, it, it, it's just a really, really solid counter. And yes, Magic Mikes are... Magic Mikes are the, 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 uh, the Dragon Knights. Wait, I should put like a small, like whatever, because otherwise people are gonna like keep asking. I'm gonna be annoyed after like three seconds. Is it too holy? Yeah, just put it up there. Otherwise, people are gonna be. They, 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 they keep asking, and it's gonna be so hard. So, yes. Okay. We got that one set. Then we have Laika. Where are you at? Uh, I just picked. Okay. First, Chow. I think Chow's not that great. So, sorry, Mr. King Joe. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Mr. King Joe. I, I, I don't think it's that great of a unit. Probably even lower. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. Like, it can be used really niche is, but it's probably here. Like, anything with good runes can work. That, that's kind of the thing. And it's one of those units. Like, if you throw really good runes of it, at it, Sure, it might work, but is it really that good? No. And trust me, I actually tried it. Then we have Laika, and I think Laika is a really niche-ish pick, but it's not that great. So, maybe even one down. Like, Laika, sure, it actually counters the rest of the family, so Laika actually wins, like, against... Uh, pretty much all uh, others. It has some hard counters, but it's not necessarily a really good unit. Okay, then let's get going. And I just pick in whatever unit I see. I just drag it up there and we just get going. So we have a whip mouse. Mouse, please. Yes, thank you. We have Han. I think Han is currently. Let's check Han win rates. Han is up here with a decent pick rate. It is not the highest. You can't slap him in every match, but he's insanely strong. Han is like legit insane, insanely strong. So I think 95 is a really solid, solid position. I don't think he's he's not a hundred because he's not a first pick. Like if you could first pick him, I will put him on a hundred, but you don't really want to first pick Han in most cases. So. That makes him 95, but in general, I think he's a like where he fits well. He's a better unit than Ragdoll, but since he's not, uh, since he's not like a first pick, I wouldn't place him there. Okay, let's get going. I just drag in whatever unit I see. Verdi heal. Verdi heal is really used in the current meta. What's Verdi heal? Third heal, 48 with 30% pick rate. Yeah, the thing is, triple revenge for it is really a thing. It's a pretty good unit, but it's 45%. It's it's not even a 50-50. It's less than a 50-50. Sure, if they go like Chiwu, um, Savannah, then you have two times the 45, which is nice. 
But the issue is we have more. We have chunk punks. We have that kind of stuff. Like legit chunk punk can glance you and then you're still not critting. Uh, Ryu can... Uh, Ryu slash more can actually hit you and then you're glancing that. So it's it's it can be good, but it's it's not that great. Uh, yeah, those statistics are just for like everything that shows up in best. So that is well, you know what shows up in best. That's that's what what's there. Yan Hong. Yan Hong is in a pretty interesting spot in the current meta. I think she's still really good, but she's pretty low performing actually. 50 points. This is pretty low for like an OP LD net 5, I would say. So apparently it's not really working for people, but I still value her pretty good. But it's not as good as Han. I think a Han is better than Yan Hong right now. But Yan Hong is still pretty, pretty solid of a unit. Well, I think it's kind of outshined by just the, the, the rest of the meta which we have right now. Sierra, the one of the most picked units out there, but, but I feel like Sierra, yeah, her, her win rate is pretty low, to be honest. Her win rate is legit pretty low, and I think the reason for that is people are using her a lot, but she's actually not that great into the the, the current meta. Like, she's easily outsped. There's other speed leads which do really well or even better with, like, the other AOECC units. She's still a good bruiser, but she's still, of course, really good with the additional damage. But I don't think she is one of the strongest units anymore. Because, like, in other metas I would have picked her here, like, totally. But here, no. Like, current meta, mm. Yeah, I, I think at 80 is fine. I might want up her later, I might. I'm not sure yet. Da, 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 da. Chunk Pung! One of the newcomers, this unit is freaking insanely retarded good. Win rate is actually not that high. I've been checking his win rate like from time to time. Okay, it is actually pretty high, 51. That is pretty high and uh, it is a high pick rate. Yeah, Chunk Pong deserves a 90. Chunk Pong is so strong that you have a stripper that's also a um, also a uh, CCer. Technically, so yeah, that's just This unit is just insanely strong like pair chunk pong like normally if you have two a we strippers like let's say you go a uh, Chibu Triton um, Then you strip with the first and you also strip with the second, but they don't really do a secondary thing Well, let's say yeah, Gianna Gianna Chibu then you have one strips and the other one also just strips and uh, yeah, okay has a bomb and yeah and whatnot, but chunk pong has his S2, which is, for some reason, an armor break and glancing, which are both pretty OP. And then his S3 is multi-hits, which pretty much ignores elements, therefore pushes back the whole thing. And then besides the pushback, also resets cooldown. That unit is just freaking crazy. That unit is just freaking crazy. The only thing this unit misses is the speed lead. I started to use Jemaya instead of Sierra. Yes. Like, legit, Jemire is really good. Jemire is really, really good in current meta. Sierra kind of starts lacking, like, here and there. So, let's continue adding in units. Patar, or Pater, or something like that. Um, what's Pater win rate? I think Pater win rate dropped a bit. Pater win rate, 53. It used to be, like, high... I 50s like 56 57 which mainly means he doesn't counter the meta as good anymore as he used to do and I think that's mainly Ryu's and Chunk Punks because of like before I would have placed him here but in current Ryu Chunk Pong meta I place him here he's still really good unit but it is not as OP because Peter's hardest counter always has been a reset so it always has been like Gannis like any Peter. A player would probably ban the Ganymede in the enemy team. 
but then you have Chung Pung, which strips and pushes back, and then you have like Ryus, which yeah, that's just that's just yeah. Xena, I just got it from TOA Heart. TOA like any AOE cleaver is pretty much the same rank. They kind of do the same thing. Can be used, but it's not necessarily the greatest. It's gonna be all in the same tier probably of like fun unit, but not that great. Wolverick, one of my earlier really used a lot of units, but it's not that good in current meta. Pretty sure that if we go for Wolverick here, uh, win rate is still reasonable, pick rate is pretty low. But yeah, Wolverick is not that great anymore. And like sure, Wolverick has his really hard counters, but pretty much Currently, it's just Amelia, and how many times is Amelia played? It's not that much, so might even minus one Wolverick because he's he's. No, I place him at seventy because he's still like the moment he he is supposed to counter, he probably does. Yes, my stream might be lagging from time to time. That does happen, so that's why I'm also recording this and I'm just going on. Um, yeah, most of the time it just fixes itself at some point. Okay, then we have one unit that has the highest pick rate right now, is the new Hathor of the season and everything, and that is a Mr. Okeanos, and I give him a straight 95. I give Okeanos a 95, and that is simply because... A unit that has 77% pick rate, 77% pick rate, and still has a 52% of win rate, that's insanely good. That is insanely, insanely good. It is a first pick, pretty much everyone uses him. Like, from the 77%, he's also first pick, like, 73% of the time. So when he's picked, he's also mostly a first pick. That's just insanely good, and... Uh, wait, mouse, mouse, keep chilling. Yeah, I feel like he is a fair fit there. He is a very fair fit there. Uh, this is uh, Kami or something? Uh, let's continue. Let's continue. Chiwu used to be a really good unit. Used to be a really good unit, but now you're here. Maybe even here. You know why? Look at Chiwu's win rate. Look at Chiwu's win rate, man. 44% win rate. That's terrible. That's insanely low. She's pretty much in like the top 10, or well, top 15 lowest units of win rate. It's 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 terrible. Why is it? Chiwu is so hard countered by Ryu. It is so much worse than a Chung Pang. It is even worse than a Triton. There's just so many good units that... Yeah. Chiwu is really down here. Like, if you're still using Chiwu, sure, he can win some matches here and there, but... In the end, he's, he's not that much of a, of a good unit. Artemil, 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 and Artemil is up there as well. 40% pick rate, 54% of the win rate, which is really high. He also really counters current meta. It's not that much of a first pick or like an often pick as Ragdoll, so it's not on Ragdoll level. But Artemil is there. It is really the it, it's really like the meta of like Ragdoll Artemil again. Like the Ragdoll Artemil players they are playing and they are doing really well with those kind of combos again. Mm, hey gang! The one everyone was like, oh this unit is gonna be so good and it does so much and it's so freaking terrible. This unit is absolute garbage. Please everyone, I'm a Gianna user, please draft this against me. Please do. 
free win that unit does absolutely nothing and it also reflects in his win rate of uh, the thing is it's it's a dead pick like sure my gian is kind of nullified but you also nullify a unit on your team so we're pretty much playing three versus three while i can drop bombs and cr actually or gian actually has a lot of damage on skill one and you have a unit that does nothing so yeah there are some ways that people don't really use him like especially people use him for the first initial strip that's bad if you would use him and there's something to strip throughout the whole match so you actually have an immunity unit in your team then he already is quite a bit better but if there's just one strip just the first strip man might as well not draft this unit might as well draft something else it's actually a terrible unit okay let's get going Nefties, 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 Nefties. I would almost say this. Uh, let's see what the win rate is. Nefties, 52, 14% pick rate. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I feel like Nefties is better than these, to be honest. But I feel like she's not as good as these. <laughs> or is she? No, she actually is. Like, if you come, like, the, in the end, like, most of the top players, like, of the top five that are currently in the top five, they all spam Nefties. Yeah, she's, she's, she's there. Yeah, she's totally there. She's, she's legit because of. With her, you can add like Chung Pong really easily because Chung Pong kind of needs a speed lead. The combination of Nefty's Chung Pong plus like more is so OP. Uh, the magic mics are Ragdoll, or like this is Ragdoll, this is uh, Leo, this is Jaeger, that kind of stuff. Okay. What else do we have? We got some Beast Riders here, but actually, talking about Gianna, I want to place Gianna. So Gianna before was pretty much up here, or here. Gianna currently is here. It's not a hundred. I would almost put her minus one. Not because of the nerf, but because of the uh, the meta shift that we have. So the meta shift that we have. Um, the big difference is why, for example, a um, Gianna would be worse than a Chang Pong in same slot. If there's no will runes, Gianna does absolutely nothing. Like Gianna is completely useless. Chang Pong, on the other hand, is insanely good if they're not on will. So the only difference is Gianna is better in a bruiser fight than Chang Pong. That's the only difference. Therefore, Gianna is still like more versatile, but. The combination of the two of them is also hella deadly. Hella hella deadly. What's the Gianna win rate? Yeah, that's that's still pretty high. Like the nerf on her S3 was a fair nerf. Like it didn't do all too much to be honest. Um, Juno, really interesting unit right now. It's been used a lot. But I think it's overused. Like, I think Juno's good, but Juno's one of those units, it's good when it locks her. So if you go heavy despair stunts, then it's good. But 9 out of 10, Juno in a 1v1 kind of loses a lot of fights, I've noticed. Or, like, you can't expect Juno to 1v3 something that easily or anything. So, therefore, I think I ooh, wouldn't want up her... Let's let's check the win rate. Juno. Juno actually has a really high pick rate with a low win rate. Hmm. See more people use Triton over Chiu this season. Don't know why. Chiu still has more speed lead. The, the thing is there's more interesting speed leads you can pair with Chiu in this season. Because Jamire is pretty good and uh, Wadarayu is pretty good. So, therefore... And Chiwa doesn't add that much to the table where Triton still has the S2 AoE um, silence, which is pretty good. But I think I keep Juno on this level. Maybe I one down Leo. 
Now, Leo kind of counters the whole current meta, and therefore Leo is that good. Uh, yeah, yeah, I keep it as is. Keep it as is. Okay, let's get some Beast Riders up in the building. Uh, Savannah. How good is Savannah currently? Um, I feel like Savannah is still pretty good. But Savannah is better in like previous meta than current. It's still really good combinable. Why is my mouse tripping like an idiot the whole time? It is annoying. Stop being annoying, mouse. Savannah 50. Yeah, uh, I, I'm, I'm not surprised about that, that Savannah is currently at a 50 range. Because it's it's kind of hard countered by the whole meta. It is not that great. It, it, it is pretty decent, but the moment, like, you can't really draft a Savannah into an Okeanos. And having Savannah and Okeanos then kind of works, but she's... she's uh... For the people that came in late, the Magic Mikes the, are uh, the Dragon Knights. So this list doesn't have Dragon Knights, so I had to put in something. And it's also written over there. I think I gotta say this like throughout the whole video like a whole bunch of times. Do I want to one-up Savannah though? Do I want to one-up Savannah? Hmm... No, I feel like she's not that versatile anymore. And a Leo is somewhat better. I might switch her later, but for now I think I'll keep her there. Barbara. Barbara is a difficult one to place. She's pretty used pretty a lot. But I feel like she's kind of same. And I expect her to be low win rate. Yes, a lot lower actually. Because the thing with Barbara, um, you can often take a first turn. But you have to have a certain follow-up, and they have to have no counters to it, to actually make it win. So I think I give her a one down even. Because of the win rate being that low, pick rate being that high. But I noticed like I started using her quite some myself as well, I pulled her recently. But it's difficult to actually make something die while using a Barbara. So the moment you get, but even then, if you get it to like a, her cooldowns are pretty long. So actually, especially if you go like S3 into S2, then before you have S2 again, you got to do a bunch of S1s and the S1s of these Beast Riders do uh, like pretty much nothing. So yes, it's still a pretty decent unit, but it's, it's not the greatest. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the thing is with Barbara, like, even if you, it, it's kind of like a deafness from before, like, sure, it can kill something, but then you also die. So, yeah, then you're just fighting a 3-3-3, <laughs> kind of. Okay, Pontus, 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 Pontus. Pontus, Pontus. What does, Pont what does the, the thing say? Pontus. Ooh, this is a really high. This is really high. But I think... I think I'm gonna minus one him. For the sake of that, I think people don't know how to play against him yet. I'm not gonna place him at 100. I think he's really good. I think he has the win rate over 100 right now. Because of the speed rate and all of that kind of stuff. But I feel like... I feel like he's 95, simply because people don't really know how to play against him yet. Because in the end, he doesn't do too much if you play with the right team. At least that's for like, I played like a whole bunch. Maybe I counted it myself a little bit easier than others. But it is a really strong unit. But it, it is re like, there, there's more than one ways to counter and Juno is really a good one. <laughs> this is a really good example of that, but in the end, Pontus has a really high win rate, and it's it's a crazy good unit. MST Pontus, that's what I yeah, that's that, that that's an option. But yeah, because he also has a speed lead, because he also has the speed lead, I'm gonna put like if he didn't have speed lead, he would be like further down. But because of the speed lead, he feels like that extra roll. 
Someone's asking for Mr. Beering. Mr. Beering is... Uh, how much? Uh, Beering has a super high win rate. But I feel like people that are using Beering is just this list is then based on like people using Han Beering or something. Hmm. I would rank Sierra 90 to be honest. I'm 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 doubting to give Sierra plus one actually because she still used that much. Sure, her win rate started lacking, but I think I I will give. Yeah, compared to what's next to her, I give Sierra plus one because you can spam her in pretty much every match, and it's still a first pick. And because of it being a first pick, whether it's then countered or not, I give Sierra plus one. Uh, Beering, where we're talking about Beering, and I think Beering on AD is fair. It's also one of those units, like, it is mostly good because of what you pair it with rather than it being a good unit itself. So the people that actually have a Beering that use it, like, that's why this, like, if I would just publish this list, people would be like, oh, Beering is the most OP unit, which is not the case. It is just good with what it's been used with. So that's kind of with these, these lists, like... Don't take it like one to one, like the first unit, like oh, Eleanor is like the the, the best unit. It's like no, barely people use it. How much of RTA is drafting? Oh, I would say, um, it's an interesting one. I would say drafting currently in current meta is well. Let's say you have all units. Nah, difficult to say, but I would say drafting is about. 30 to 30 to 40% of the match then luck is about I want to give everything let, let's say I would give it like a 33 no I would say drafting is 40% um, your the things you do in the match are about 20% and then luck is also 20 no 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 I would say drafting is 40 Luck is 30% and what you do in the match is also 30%. I think that's, that, that's a fair analysis. Like drafting is more important than what you do in like the actual match. But luck and what you do in the actual match is pretty much the same thing. Draft 10, play 10, file 80. No, no, no. You, I, I call it luck because you're, you're not saying resistance checks. Uh, despair stunts, yadi yadi, that kind of shit. I would almost say luck is like, maybe luck is even more like forty or something. Like this season for me has been terrible luck, man. Blech. Like everything despair stunts on me, and I despair stun nothing. I hate despair. I hate despair more than Vio. <laughs> runes is forty. Well, yeah, if you include like uh, runes and monster box, it's it's such a difficult question. Okay, let's keep going. Proha. Praha is pretty used units currently as well. Um, what's Praha win rate? Praha, Praha, Praha. It's not that high, just a little bit short of Juno. It's used less. I'm actually surprised that it's a lower win rate because most of the time units that have like a, a lower pick rate are more used when it's an actual counter. Talking about like Diana or something like that. It, it's not slapped into every match but uh, i feel like praha is fine on the 75. yeah sometimes we just have like terrible fps it happens it happens Shit happens diana Diana, Diana, Diana. Diana is currently a really good unit and it counters the meta pretty hard actually. And Diana is probably on a really high win rate. Diana is actually on a legit win rate. So I would say I would almost one up Diana actually. Because I think Diana is actually like the moment people go like Barbara, Sierra, uh, Ganymede, something, you just Diana that and they're like, okay, this, this is going to be an issue. I think Diana is a really good counter on the whole meta so yeah i'm not surprised diana has a high win rate i'm not surprised so i feel like diana's 85 right now yes and also she is good with the additional damage which is also meta right now which then also makes sense 
Mm, Marsha. Marsha is a difficult one to place, but I think um, I wouldn't be surprised if the win rate is like 48 something. Oh wait, oh, it's 50. Okay, but Marsha is one of those units that's more used when it's actually fitting, but would I want up that? Chiwu is low, yeah, Chiwu win rate is low. Um, I'm not sure if I would want up this. Hmm. I feel like the win rate that Marsha has probably mostly comes from people having like Marsha Ragdoll or something, which is a really deadly combination. People that are confused with Lynette, please read this this thing here. Magic mics are Dragonites. People don't read. <laughs> That doesn't matter. Uh, someone's asking for Leona. Leona. I feel like Leona's not that great. Like, wait, wait, wait. Where did it go? Ah, no, that's a golem. Get rid of this. Go get this golem out of my face. Wait, wait. What the f? No. Am I that like retarded that I can't drag this unit? Or is this website just retarded? Okay, Leona, it's not placed there, but win rate 49. Oof. I feel like before Leona was like super high up, but I feel like she's not really fitting the meta. People are not using her good enough. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she just doesn't really fit the meta. Like, sure, good fifth pick can maybe potentially like solo the whole team, but um, 80. I would say 80, not more. Cien, I think he's overused, but he's good. He is most definitely good. Really good fifth pick. What's your win rate? 50. Ooh, that's that's actually better than expected. It's actually better than expected. But this is just a good fifth pick. Fourth, fifth pick, really solid unit. Would I maybe one up you? No, your pick rate is that low. That's I think he's. I think he's good, but he doesn't fit that many matches. Especially because you have that many. Like the moment you have like these two idiots there, then you're not gonna draft Sion. You're you're gonna get like the the next level backhand. So you, you don't want to do that. So yeah, I think it's fair. Hathor! You, you remember when Hathor was somewhere up here? <laughs> you, you remember those days? Which website are you using? It's called RTA Stats. Um, it's a local host. <laughs> so you can't uh, access this. But yeah, Hathor. Hathor. Um, I think Hathor is kind of a forgotten unit because a Hathor 5th pick is actually really good. Hathor 5th pick is still a really solid, legit, yeah, still 50% win rate. Hathor 5th pick, I wouldn't say like start spamming her and shit, but I feel like a Hathor 5th pick is actually pretty, pretty good. Like I wouldn't say like, oh, start ruining her heavy and that kind of stuff, but I feel like still a solid unit. How far are we? We're 43 minutes into the recording already. Oh, uh, this this is gonna take me so long. <laughs> At some point we just get like the, the, the fucking drowsy, idiotic units that don't mean anything. Bellinus. Well, a non-idiotic unit. Mm, I would put Bellinus 75. It's not as good as a Sion. It kind of does the same thing, but Sion does that better, I'd say. Molly. Molly used to be super high up as well. I still feel like Molly is a solid unit. It's just more of a fifth pick right now than slap it into every match. So yeah, the win rate did drop quite some. But... Hmm. 
I'm actually gonna remove like the background music because I'm talking too much all the time anyway so whatever um uh, molly yes i think for fifth pick fourth fifth pick still solid unit still definitely there i think in the old tier list she was somewhere up here because she was annoying and that kind of stuff but hmm. we actually got a really like faster ish paced meta now well speed meta mm -hmm. uh, so yeah um let's see what else we have wait i got a message what's the message doesn't matter um i don't want to put ryu in yet i just you i will get there i'll get there don't give out all the goods right away so let's see what else what was a fun unit what's a fun unit? let's let's go some two ways vigor vigor used to be really good as well vigor used to be really good as well but currently i think his win rate is a bit dropping 49 mm-hmm uh, kind of expected. I think figure fits here. Like, sure, decent counter to some units still, but I wouldn't spam slap it into every match anymore. I think it's also not being used that much. Isn't Chi Wu better because of speed lead? Uh, no, Chi Wu is really bad because of. Da, 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 da. Ah, Chi Wu is terrible. <laughs> Chi Wu is just so hard countered. Like, the moment you throw a uh, uh, Water Ryu against Chi Wu. Chi Wu is nothing. Also, Chi Wu like kill potential like throughout the match. It's, it's it's not that great. It's legit not that great. Mm. Okay, what else do we have? What else do we have? Ganymedes, highly used units. Can you meet? Can you meet? Not that high win rate. Man keeps passing over my Sarath. I will. I will okay, I'll. I'll do Sarath for the next one. So Ganymede. I feel like Ganymede is, fits here. Ganymede is still a really good unit, but Ganymede needs other units to shine. Like Ganymede by itself does nothing. If you have a Ganymede plus some other stuff, it is pretty good. But by itself, it's it's. It doesn't do too much. It doesn't do too much. What are the magic knights? Read. 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 <laughs> magic mics are dragon knights. Okay. Seraph. 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 Dragon. 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 Dragon Ball Z. Seraph. I think Seraph. Well, I've seen Pinkroid with him, so I might be biased, but Pinkroid uses him really well. And you just want to like kind of like turn to cleave ish, but still like on a high speed. And I think it's a pretty solid unit because it also has a heal on skill two. It does a decent amount of damage on skill one. I wouldn't necessarily go like, oh, it's the best unit out there. And it's not even been used that much that it's in the current list right now. That is uh, unfortunate. But I feel like Seraph is a good unit. Like more people start using it. Maybe. Pinkroid can use it because he has the room quality for it, but I feel like Seraph, like especially you use it like Seraph with uh, Savannah or Seraph with like Annabelle or that kind of stuff, uh, maybe minus one. Because not that many people can utilize him that well, but he's good. He is legit good, but I minus one him because not that many people can utilize him. Wajet, one of the overrated units, I think. He's been overrated in... I kind of overrated him in some other tier lists as well, but I, I feel like... Widgets, 52 win rate. It is actually pretty decent win rate, but I feel like Widgets... It is a speed lead, speed booster, which is interesting, but I don't feel like it's that great of a unit. Like, other people in other tier lists would have put him, like, all the way up there, but... It's not that great. Maybe because I play Oracles, which really counters this thing. If you just go like Oracles plus Bolvrigger against this thing, this thing is nothing. But yeah, maybe 75 because Speed Lead, Speed Booster can be used for some combos. It is not that bad. Mm. 
He uses the ref with only very strong first turn. Yeah, like his comp make it, makes it work. That that's really true. That's really really true. Xingzi, which is pretty much used in current meta as well. I'm not gonna place him there, but just just checking. Um, his win rate is not that high, but I think he's one of those units that's picked into a scenario where it's like, okay, um. I'm getting like full out sped and l let's pray to RNG that my monkey does shit and then it kind of starts working. I feel like he is 75 too because he's he's a pretty solid unit actually. It's not something you want to slap into every match but it's it is a pretty solid unit to be honest. Okay, what else? Shiho, that's also one of those super forgotten units, right? I can't remember last time I played against Shio, and this is probably the reason why. <laughs> Shio is just like hard counted by the whole freaking meta. Um, Isis, I'm not even gonna place. Bastet, 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 Bastet. Let's see if win rate. I expect 49 point something. 48. Um, not surprised. Cleaves don't work that much. They don't work that well anymore. Like, sure, that you have your comps where it can work, but in general, I don't see Cleaves working that well. I don't see Cleaves working that well. Antares, one of the units I used to use quite some, but Antares, <laughs> let, let me check. Wait, I, I know his win rate is like something like 40 low. Forty-three. <laughs> oh, Terrace is so terrible right now. Terrace is just really bad into current. I feel like still, and Terrace can have some counters here and there because he's actually nice into like Leo and like Diana and that kind of stuff. But he's even countered by a Chunk Pong. Like to be honest, he's even countered by Chunk Pong. Uh, she was that low because the the rest of the like water right simple water right. Rika. Let's go for Rika. Rika, oh girl, girl, da da da. Rika, you seen her quite some. I seen her some. I made mine decent rune. I don't get her to work. I don't know. It's one of those units that doesn't really work for me. Forty-eight. Yeah, I, I feel like it's on the same tier. Like good last pick, same as like Balanus. Kind of like they, they, this is like pretty much a tier of like good last picks. Except for Barbara, which is mostly like picked earlier, but I feel like, yeah, to be honest, like everything I see here are like good last picks or like niche things in whatever they do. And I think that tier is gonna stack up with like a lot more. <laughs> um, Douglas, I think Douglas is one of those underrated units, which is actually pretty good. So that's either the Fire doesn't say the glove. How do you write it? Okay, he's not even in the list, but I think he's actually pretty legit as a last pick as well. Wouldn't necessarily start spamming him, but he's technically he's a better Laika. Because he counters really good into like Chunk Punks, he counters pretty well into like Ganymedes, that kind of stuff. Into Savannah, he's pretty good. So everything that glances, especially like wind, even like Sierra and that kind of stuff, the moment they AOE stuff, at mass, Douglas starts hitting them hard. Like hard, hard. Like it's not necessarily like an OP win rate kind of unit, but I think it's a unit we start seeing like more and more that will be used. And maybe like even, maybe I even have to like put him at 80. It's that I don't have experience with using him myself. I just seen him like work in like a few matches really well. But mm, I put him on 75 for now, but he might be in a worth of an 80. Why is Barbara ranked relatively low? Because Barbara win rate is not that high, 47. And the reason with that is Barbara mostly doesn't really... It's used a lot, but in the end it doesn't really... Mm, would I maybe want a Barbara? Uh, because it's used that much, I might m want a Barbara, but her win rate is actually pretty low. Uh, do I want to want a Barbara? I feel like if Barbara was used more often in um, scenarios where she's really a fit, rather than just slept in the first two slots, 
I think Barbara win rate would be a lot higher. So I think people are like overplaying Barbara and therefore she has a low win rate. But she is a good unit and therefore I one up her. But I think people are overusing her and that is uh, that, that that's the downfall of her win rate, which is relatively like really low. I would say it, it is pretty, pretty low. But yeah, I think it's the same thing with Sierra. People are like overusing her. But whoops. Okay, uh, let's keep going. What else do we have? What else do we have? We got Geldnir. Yay. Oh, Pisama. Pisama is actually... Or Samoth or Pisama or whatever you want to call it. It is actually a legit unit in current meta. It is. And maybe I even want up it. Pisama, 50 point something. Barbara, Swift or Fio. Could be both, but most people use it Swift. But I actually think a Fio is better. <laughs> So if you use it as a Fio Bruiser to, for example, annihilate like a Vert or something, or annihilate a Juno, I think it's better than um, a Swift one. But most people use it on Swift to try to get like a first turn, but mostly they get a first turn and then can't really like make any like big, big impact on the match because of it. But I think Samoth is pretty, pretty dope, like last week. Yeah, like and, it, and it's overall pretty solid unit. It's, it's not that bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Where can I get information of monsters? Uh, I think there is a website that's called like Summoners War Sky Arena info or something that has like a lot of info about all units. Okay, let, let's. I, I've been waiting long enough to put this guy, the Water Freaking Ryu. I would almost put him up here. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm gonna put him 95. Would I put him 95 though? Because if you see uh, more, more has 55.6% win rate for a normal net 5. Which is fucking crazy. It is crazy, like legit. I feel like there's too many units in 95. No, I think it's pretty fitting. Maybe... No, no, no. I was almost thinking one minusing Pontus, but Pontus is actually pretty good. Yeah, I feel like this is a good fit. And the... Yeah, Okeanos and Mord are kind of like same, same level. I would almost put in 100. Almost, because... Man, this win rate is so freaking crazy. It is really crazy. It's a first pick. It's an AoE stripper. It has 1v1 potential, it's, it hits a lot for no fucking reason, it is difficult to, to kill in general, it is not countered by Vert, it, it counters all the other strippers, okay he's 100, fuck it, he's 100, like I just, I just summed up too many good things about this unit. I just, yeah he steals turns, he does that, he can even be despair and he's super annoying. Yeah, yeah, this has to, yeah, it has to be 100. I think he's hella OP right now. This unit is insanely strong. People that say he's not, no. What should I build on Swift? Fastest unit you have and give him like additional damage artifacts. This thing is so legit. So yeah, this, this, come on, look, look at this win rate. And it's also a, often a first pick. That's, yeah. Yeah, he, he he's just OP. Arta's not as good anymore. Arta kind of counters current meta. That's the thing. Like, if people go like Chunk Pong, and uh, let's say they go like more Chunk Pong, Ganymede, Sierra, an Artemil would do really good into that. So, Artemil is actually pretty good in current meta. Artemil actually starts getting back into the current meta. Uh, I wouldn't run more on uh, crit damage slot 4. I would go speed HP HP or speed attack HP and just go like a lot of damage from additional damage artifacts. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. And Artemil actually does an insane amount of damage on counters. 
Like with counter artifacts, the artem mill does so much damage for no reason. It is really annoying. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, we have a unit that's pretty interesting. Turnies. His win rate is always really high, but I'm pretty sure his win rate is high because people use him with like Artemules and like Ragdolls and that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like it's not that great of a unit. 51, it actually started dropping a bit, but he's he's still pretty pretty decent. But yeah. Light Monkey. Light Monkey is an interesting one. So we have Ching Tian Da Xiang. Oof, man, the win rate is entirely high. Is this a troll tier list? It has to be. It is not a troll tier list, I'm told. I'm sorry, it is not. And probably you cannot read. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Ching Tian Da Xiang. Which is monkey? Where the monkey is? Where the monkey is? Ah, here. So it's fifty-three point high win rate, which is insanely good. It is insanely good, and but you can't really slap him into every match. But it's a really good unit, and I think it's a solid, solid, solid. 85, maybe even 90. Maybe even 90. Uh, Dark Lap is that good? No, read. Read. Wait, why do I have to point that it points at that? Here. Read. Magic mics are Dragon Knights. That's Ragdoll. That's not a Lynette. This tier list didn't have uh, Ragdolls in there. It was the only unit missing, so I had to use my Magic Mic for that reason. There's someone who just picks Terranese every match with Jaeger Ragdoll. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Ooh, Van Cliff or also Dark Ryu, which we all thought is going to be the most OP thing ever. And I've only seen one person use him really well, and he uses it with <laughs> Gianna, Nyx, uh, Ragdoll. Uh, fan cliff and then more yeah like whatever you fifth pick then it would work everything would but i feel like maybe a good fifth pick but apparently he needs so much setup that people can't really make use of him and therefore he's not that great so yeah too bad too bad dragon eyes are too new for this list yeah the person that made this list just forgot dragon eyes but hey still i really appreciate like for someone to make this whole list because like adding in all of these pictures one by one is a pain in the butt. So I'm really happy I didn't have to. Vanessa, one of the other speed leads, which is really dominant right now. I think Vanessa is... No, take a chill, go back to 70. But that, I think Nessa is still solid. 80. Nessa, pretty decent pick rate. Yeah, solid 80. Solid 80. The the buff she got is kind of more like a nerf-ish because she's fucked by silence right now, which kind of sucks. But I've seen some people win matches because of it. It's, yeah. Uh, Jemeyer. It's another one of those really solid units right now for current meta. And let me check the win rate. I think something 50, 51 maybe? 50. Hey, in between, in between. <laughs> but yeah, very solid unit as well, Jemaya. Um Reason Sierra is higher than Jemaya is... Her win rate is lower. Some people started using Jemaya over Sierra, but Sierra is more slapped into like every match where that kind of stuff. What happened to Hathor? Artifacts happened to Hathor. <laughs> That's what happened to Hathor. Artifacts. Da, 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 da. Triana, one of the OG units. OG units. Ah, still a decent last pick, I would say. Probably like around 50, low 50s is. Oh, 51. It's actually not bad. Hmm. Would I want upper because of that? Mm. 
Molly as good as a BR? Yes, I'd say so. Yes, I would say so. Molly win rate actually dropped quite some. Molly win rate dropped quite some. Would I maybe one up Molly? Would I one up Molly? Hmm, I don't know. You don't see her as much anymore. Molly. Wow, well, well, you still see her 50%, but she has a 50 50 win rate right now, and this used to be like 54 ish. No, I think Molly's fine there. Or would I want up her? No, I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the Molly. Uh, would I put in there Triana? Triana 75. Oh, it's fair, it's fair. Would I maybe one up that? No, I think it's fair, 75. Um, yeah, Beast Riders are not that OP anymore. Like, if you think Beast Riders are still OP, then you're like one or two metas behind. Like, sure, they're annoying, but they're not as OP anymore as they used to be. Like as decent counter to Molly, there's a whole bunch of decent counters to Molly at the moment. Like Molly is still good, but Molly is more like a fifth, fourth, fifth pick right now rather than like a first pick. Like if people first pick Molly, they compare like they use it with like Artemil, Ragdoll, blah blah that kind of stuff. So the unit is good anyways. But uh, what's the percent win rate of Ragdoll? Let me show you. It is fifty five with an insane high pick rate. Is yellow ice iris even used in RTA? Nope, she's not. Please read. Ah, uh, here. Da, 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 da. Okay, what else? Triton. I think Triton is pretty good in current meta, actually. I will give Triton a solid 80, I think. Ah, win rate is a little bit. It's 50-50 ish. Would I one down him for that? Yeah, I think I would one down him for that. He's more like a last pick, like okay, we're we're speed trading right now and let's go for like the the the, the, the overtake. Why is bearing in it and over not? Because I'm still working on it, honey. <laughs> Can't place everything in there right away. It's it's work in progress. That's that's how you make art, but I hate art, so I'm not sure what I make. Um or baking or anything okay Annabelle Annabelle's used reasonable amount as well but also I feel like mostly by people that also use it with like the heavy LDs Annabelle yeah Annabelle's not that high of a win rate to be honest and then even she when she's used with like the heavy OP LD stuff Maybe plus one. I'll give her a plus one. She can counter some some setups, that kind of stuff. Praha is already in there at a seventy-five, which I think is fair. How to counter all of those beast riders, Leo, Leo, and a whole bunch of other stuff like uh, avert and. Just resetting them and uh, what are you and Chung Pong and LD fives and everything that's above the beast riders pretty much like legit <laughs> yeah free to play options uh, third triple revenge and wind monkey is also pretty good against them yeah Artemis really good against them <laughs> um, mm -mm -mm. we don't see any of those to be honest the 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 LMDs for that. Wunsa. Wunsa, Wunsa, Wunsa. I would say Wunsa is up here. Or is he? No, actually, I think Wunsa's. Yeah, Wunsa is nice. It is a high win rate. Yeah, I feel like Wunsa's fair. Like, Wunsa's better than Triton. Would Wunsa be better than Triton? Yeah, Wunsa's better than Triton because it's more consistent. Because Triton, you actually have to push back. Whereas with Wunsa, you push yourself up. So it's a it's a bigger chance of actually landing your push up. That kind of stuff. So, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Mm, Zera 2. Oh, I picked Oberon. Oberon! The new LD5 of Vili. Is Oberon actually on this list? Oberon is on the list. Wait, why is Oberon so high? Wait. Who was boosting Oberon? Who boosted Oberon in this list? Okay, he's actually pretty high. Well, I'm just gonna put him there because... Uh, I don't know. Would it be an 80? Would Oberon be an 80? Mm. I feel like it's difficult to one-shot something with an Oberon. Like, you need a shit ton of damage to actually... Or you need a shit ton of attack to actually one-shot something without, like, heavy, heavy setups. Uh, I feel like that's... Mm. He is cool, yeah, but we're not rating units by how cool they are. <laughs> because if we rate units by how cool they are, I would put, like, this guy up there because he's just cool. I, at least I think he's cool, but yeah. Um, Miho, everyone's favorite cat, or not? What's Miho win rate? I bet it's low. Oh, 50. 50. It's actually not bad. Not bad for a cat. Or for Miho. Would I want up Miho? No, I feel like Miho is fine in this lot. Like, Miho is still annoying. Miho is still Miho. I think Mio is for some people also like a little bit of a forgotten unit that they can be drafted into more stuff, also for myself, but yeah, it's a fair unit. Someone was asking for Nyx, so we're going to... What is a Nyx? It's a Fairy King. Where are my Fairy Kings at? This is my Fairy King. Nyx. Nyx, 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 da 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 He's, is he gonna be there? I think I want up Nyx. I think Nyx is pretty good. Nyx, what's your win rate? It is pretty low, it's not that much picked, so probably Firos is just dropping this win rate. <laughs> Sorry Firos, I love you man. Um, no, but I think Nyx is really good in current matter. Too bad his S2 is not 100% activation rate. I think it's not, but I think it's it's pretty pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. With additional damage. Oh shit, we got a host from Take. I do, my man. Hope you had a good stream. Wait, did, did you already finish? Did you finish your siege? Wait, we're going blue map. Fuck, I got to do siege at some point. <laughs> we're going blue map. Thanks for the read, man. Highly appreciated. We're, we're going tier lists. We're going tier lists. It's been a while. Hey, hey here's your Ching Tian Dashing. Or Ki Tian Dashing. Or whatever people pronounce it. I, I think it's Ching Tian Dashing. Dash. Yeah, Dashing. Almost blue map. Yeah, I just checked. Like my, I'm, I'm still farming in the meantime, but... I'll just see whatever happens with Siege. I think we're fine. As long as I get my like like some reward, I'm fine. I probably got the all in all my wings mostly anyways, but uh, let's continue. Lima. Lima. Chin Tian Da The shit. I actually I have to put it like wait, I actually put it in Google Translate at some point. I think it's a Chi Tian Da uh, Lima, I think Lima, oh, guys, also really appreciate for all of the follows. Um, Lima, I think, is here. I don't think Lima's that great. Like, sure, like, to be honest, Lima's just a worse version of Praha. Because with Praha, you mostly want that elemental advantage. That's why you take a Praha, or that's why you take a Juno. And with Lima, it's not really there. Her S3 is not that great. Da -da -da. Well, I think we're gonna need like uh, how to pronounce like the new the new uh, uh, the new guys will also be like Chinese names, so we gotta learn how to pronounce these. Um, Amelia, one of those old forgotten-ish units as well. I don't think it's that good anymore, but still a decent fifth pick. Like sometimes it's a fifth pick and a must ban, and because of that, it's still pretty decent. Amelia, yeah, it's pretty pretty high win rate, and I think it's. I think it's for that. I think it's for that. 60 for Lima. 
Wait, would I want down Lima? Magic mics are placeholders. Yes, you are correct here. For everyone that just came into the stream, magic mics are uh, Dragonites. The Dragonites were the only things that weren't in this list, so... I had to work with that. Place Ra'oak. Why do you have to place... No, who uses Ra'oak in RTA? In his right mind. In his right mind. Poseidon. Cleavy units. Which is actually pretty decent. Poseidon is actually pretty decent as a cleave unit. What's Poseidon win rate? Poseidon... Uh, 449. Maybe one down. Maybe one down. No, I feel like Poseidon is pretty nice because of like S3 can't glance. So you actually, if you outspeed the whole team. Can be pretty nice, can be pretty nice. Do pandas! Covenant. Who in his right mind uses Covenant in RTA? As, wait, sorry, Taki, do you still use Covenant in RTA? That's <laughs> not... Uh, if you do it, I recommend you to not do it. That's that's what I got. Pandas. Panda, panda, panda. Oof, let's start off with the one and only. T on Lang. And... Ta -ta 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 Lang. Ooh, look at this bad boy being all the way at the top. Look at this bad boy being all the way at the top as a counter of the whole freaking meta. It is not necessarily a first pick as much. I think I won down him for the reason that you can't first pick him. Because Ragdoll and more you can first pick and they're overall really good. Tian Leng is insanely good but it's more of a counter pick. It is a counter pick. So I'm 95 him. Just because he's a counter pick and he's not a, uh, you can't slap him into every match. So I, I think you only be, can become a hundred if you can be slapped in every freaking match and do really well in every freaking match. So yeah, for that reason, I think you're 95. I think I put him at a hundred before. I think he's really good, but his pick rate is a little bit low to be a hundred, to be honest. Like if you check like 8.4 pick rate to... 32 pick rate and where the other idiot at um, this but you also have the other one so yeah that's it, 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 just it's just bad it's just bad Fermion Dark Bison who uses that uh, I would Tian Lang Despair I would per uh, preferably have him like Despair Revenge even Despair will Despair Revenge but he's really good. It's one of those units I would almost put like an in-between tier. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like Tian Lang would almost be an in-between tier. But still, these two units are... Nah, these two units are just better. Da, 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 da. Um, who you... Molong. Molong is actually making his comeback. I'm not lying. Molong is actually making his comeback. Because people are using Molong on Vampire right now. You can do Vampire with Life Drain, and you can actually almost get back full HP. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, man. You more long S3 like, ha, pa, and then it's like, zoop, zoop, <laughs> your HP bar is pretty much full again. So that's actually legit, and he counters like Ragdoll and Artemu. And what you can do is you can do like, for example, um, if you have damage on light, Let's say you have like 20% damage on light and you S3 on Artemis and Artemis is like... <laughs> so th those are fun things. So Molong is kind of making his comeback because of that. It's not that high win rate, but he's making his comeback. I would almost one-up him because... Uh, yeah. Are this G3 stats only? No, everything that shows up in best. So whatever is in best, I think it's like top, what, 4,000-ish? Top 3,000? Where's Juno? Juno's here at 80. Juno's there at 80. Fatmo long plus Bolfric. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Thing is, Bol Bolfric is not that great anymore. Do I think Molong is actually plus one? I think Molong is plus one. Because the thing is, people are using Molong to counter what's most OP. So his win rate because of that is always like a bit lower. So that kind of makes sense, I guess. Yeah. Uh, Topa V, Hate you, Juno and 80. Well, if you check Juno win rate, 
Juno win rate is not that high because Juno is actually, uh, I don't know, Juno is a bit overused. It's a good unit, but it's a bit overused. Leica 65, yes. <laughs> you want to know why Leica 65? <laughs> this is like a win rate 41.22 it's almost as good as using camilla in freaking rta <laughs> oh, it's actually a bad unit is this rta tier list yes it is yes it is oh josephine some people still using josephine it's like you're just praying to the luck sack gods and then you're gonna win if you don't man if you're not a lucky like if you're if you're feeling lucky you're feeling like you want to be lottery tickets, then you go Josephine. Otherwise, don't pick Josephine. Let's let's place Josephine in there. Um, da, 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 Josephine. Yeah, Josephine is right around Antares range. So if you feel if you feel like buying lottery tickets, be my guest. Otherwise, stay away from this unit. Stay the hell away from this unit. Sadly, some artifacts. Ooh, almost saw the wrong artifact. Don't sell wrong artifacts, boys. It's important. Artifacts. Ken. No, that's not Ken. Ken. That's also not. I legit clicked on Ken. I'm. Ken. Yes, thank you. Ken is a pretty good unit. It's not being used much, but Ken is actually really good. Ken is actually, actually really good. The reason for Ken being that good is because it's pretty much more, but you don't have a passive and you don't have speedy. <laughs> but his S3 actually does an insane amount of damage. It actually does an insane amount of damage. And it could be a good, like, if you go more plus Ken, it's a deadly combo. It is a deadly, deadly combo. What's your win rate? 40, uh, 48 is a bit low. This is a bit low. Okay, okay. I won down you for that. I think. But it's still pretty legit unit. I think it's still pretty legit. You know. Zerpolita Josie, yeah. If you go Zerpolita Josephine, you're fine. You're you, then you're good. She was too weak right now. Yeah, she was pretty bad. Uh, who's the guy that's speaking like whatever language in the chat the whole time? Like, I I, I don't speak that language. I have no clue if you're asking something to me or to someone else. What's Jilton win rate right now? If you have a moment, I um. This list is based on that your pick rate is at least, I think, 1% of the, of the sum. Yeah, so you have to be like at least over 1% of the total amount of picks to actually be on this list. Otherwise, you, you're going to have like units with like 70% win rate because they're picked like five times or something. How do you get 70% from being fair? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Why is the magic mic on the... Because of this. That's the magic mic. Life Drain Artifact is good. Uh, it's good on some units. It's good on some units, but it's not that great. I wouldn't put it on Miho, for example, but on Leica, it it, it's good. But then Leica's not a good unit. Hmm. On Jaeger, Jaeger is pretty good. I also have like videos on that on my YouTube channel. Uh, Self-promoting. So I have a whole bunch of artifact videos on that. Uh, Zongzhang Lao, which is a terrible unit. I think this is uh, maybe one up. No, I think you're terrible. Zongzhang Lao, yeah, this is your win rate. You know why? Because his S3 is freaking 60% activation rate. I get, like, I get a stroke when I think about that activation rate. Yeah. Nikki, I think, is Nikki on the list? Nikki is 52, but this is pretty high spam by one guy having... It's just by a Cleave guy that's really high up. I think he's like top 5 or something. Well, Cleave with Nikki. But is it a bad unit? I think Nikki is actually pretty decent because of artifacts. Because her S3 is multi-hits. And you do an attack buff. So if you then stack like damage from attack, you get an attack buff, which stacks more. You stack attack increasing effect on that. You stack on stacking. And then you stack on stacking, stacking. And then you do a shit ton of damage AoE. So yeah, Nikki is actually pretty good with... Uh, I, I I feel like Nikki is, uh, can have some use. Oh jeez, where are my OGs oh, at? Uh, that's Laura. We don't like Laura. We like Nikki. I feel like it's a niche unit. Uh, 
Uh, do you think Song Chun Lao would be a good unit if his S3 would... Yeah, if, if Song Chun Lao's S3 would be 100, I would place him here at 80. Like, not gonna lie. Even if they would mine it, like, if they make his armor break one turn, which is shitty for armor breaks 9 out of 10. If they make his armor break, um, like, one turn, and his stun rate 100%, still you have, like, the, uh, the activation check and the resistance check and that kind of stuff. But you no, wait, so your activation uh, check is 100%, but then you have the resistance check still. I would still place him at 80, but with 60 percent you can work with 60 percent man that's 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 crazy lydia lydia's not on the list lydia are you right at no lydia's not on the list lydia's not on the list what's the name of the cleave guy um he has the uh i think he has the psyduck picture so it's one of the four <laughs> Or no, wait, that's the, 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 the guy that's... Is, is it that? I th he's somewhere in like top 10. I forgot which one it was exactly. Mina. I kind of use her from time to time, but she's not that great. I should stop using her. What's your win rate? I think it's actually pretty decent. 50. Hmm. Yeah, I use her from time to time, but she's so squish, man. Like, even on really good runes, she's still like hella, hella squish. Like, you can maybe kill off something, but then you also die. Oh, yeah. Wu Yong. Someone's asking for my cleavers out there. Well, I'm not that much a fan of cleavers, to be honest. Wu Yong, 48. Yeah, I feel like it's... it's, 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 it, it's... Is it a better bus that? Yeah. I can see more combos with... Wu Yong than these units, so I would say, I would say that, I would say that. A lot of people can't read. That's welcome to life. People don't read. People do not read. <laughs> welcome to life. Is eighty five? I would put Ken on hundred percent crit rate. Ken is one of those hundred percent crit rate, which is so important because you can do S three into S two. Demon ranks. Where are my demons at? I don't see too much demons in RTA in general. Demon, demon, demon. Eeny, meeny, miny. Let's go for the dark one first. I don't even see the dark one that much anymore. But I think that the, the dark one used to be good. But it's just because of this guy. The demons are like the dark demon is just it's, it's screwed. What's your win rate? Mm -hmm. Bills, but pff, yeah, it's not used that much. Win rate is not that bad, but yeah, yeah, could 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 be better. He's doing well, but could be better. Maybe highlight a bit more. I don't want to be like just read, and people also. People reply to it in chat right now, so I don't always like people get annoyed by other people saying that and then I don't have to be annoyed. So that's 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 nice. It's nice. Yeah, I'm not used to having a chat of 500 people. I blame Taki for that, but highly appreciate it for y'all being here. Um let's add in some more. Ashima. Ashima, I think, is still one of the most fun units in the game. Highly. But is it that great? What's Asima win rate? Probably not even picked that much. Asima win rate is 52. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Like, I think Asima is a solid 80. Because the other units that do like same shit are like Rika, Balanus, that kind of stuff. But Asima is just like, she, she backhands people, like next level. Lucifer RTA win rate. Oh, you're gonna laugh about this. Lucifer. Uh. <laughs> It's bad. It's bad. You know why it's bad? You just throw in a Diana. You're done. You legit just throw... Like, he has to go Leo, Bustet, Lucifer, uh, Lucian, and then something else. You ban out the Lucian, you throw in a Bustet, you're already done. It's so easy. It is so easy. So, yeah, let's, let's actually place Lucifer. Um, demons. A demon? That's not a demon. I, I'll find you again. 
I want to place you later. Deem. Lucifer. Uh, I think I put you around here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I put the team in here. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Maybe one below. Because it's only usable in one retarded cleave, and there, even there it doesn't work that well. 50. 50. Like, if you're 39 win rate, you deserve to be at 50. I, I, I think that that's as close to where the other unit at that people should not be using anymore. And also, most people don't, but... Where are they? Garo. No, that's not a Garo. Garo. That's not a Garo. Garo. Yes. Yeah, Garo also, like, probably also has a nice win rate. Ah, he's just below it. He is just below it. <laughs> oh, man, you know, oh, man. Like, legit, like, do you really want to Garo into a meta where <laughs> more is that good? <laughs> like, I, I feel like Garo is trash, man. You, you put more. No, I, I feel like I, I have to save trash for like the real, real trash. Because some people still use it and some people might get like Guardian with it. Might? If you have insanely good runes. Celia. I feel like Celia is not used that much. It's not that great. It's a fun-ish unit, Celia. No, actually I feel like Celia could be, could be decent-ish. If you outspeed someone like a Swift Celia... I can see Swift Celia actually working in current meta. Can you sort win rate by uh, and show the worst? Uh, yes, sure. Win rate and then by worst. So <laughs> Garo is worst. <laughs> Imagine that using a Camilla, using a fucking Camilla is better than using a Garo in RT. <laughs> People start ruining your Camillas. Start ruining your fucking Camillas. Let's go. Ugh. Ranuki. Ranuki is up there. Can I read about it? Yeah, you can read over there. That, that, that's what you can read. That thing. <sighs> da, da, da. Hmm. Is Wusa actually? Wusa. Well, it's still used a little bit. It is still used a little bit. It's a bit niche ish, but. It's not that great. Ooh, another one. Talking about Akok. Asher. That's not an Asher. How did you come up all the way from. Go back. I'll find you again later. Lydia, uh, okay, let's just place in Lydia. Lydia, we got the Lydia Cleave people. Lydia Cleave people, stay there. Terrible unit, don't use it. <laughs> it's it's like the moment people pick Lydia, it's like, ah, I guess what he's gonna do. <laughs> like, oh, I have no clue what he's going to do. Asher. I think Asher is pretty solid. Asher is actually pretty solid. Asher, around 50. Eh, pretty solid, pretty solid. I would say solid unit because it's pretty usable like all around in multiple comps. Well, it's still the speed, like cleave comp. No, I have an issue. My my, my, my artifact storage is full. Okay, I, I gotta start farming something else. <laughs> Wait, are the other teams actually ruined? I can't farm. I can't farm, boys. I have an issue. Well, I have many issues, but this is my current one. I'm farming artifacts so fast that I have to do dragons right now. Struggles! Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's place you because I selected you like six times before. Xena! And you're a niche-ish cleave unit, which is probably not even on the list. She's not. Is every unit on that list? Yeah, every unit except Dark Knight. 
Or not Dark Knights, Dragon Knights. Just Dragon Knights are missing for some odd reason, I don't know. Still appreciate the person who made this list because... Putting in all the, of these pictures is a pain in the butthole. Sekhmeth. Sekhmeth, Sekhmeth, Sekhmeth. I think it's just a really bad version of an Okiyamas. But then really bad. 48. Higher than expected. Higher than expected. But still do it that one up you. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no. No. Mm, Bella. Obabo's favorite unit right now, which is actually pretty freaking OP because the second skill, it's five times, can put five dots and then you hit again for the first skill. That's an insane amount of damage. I'm not gonna place her here, but I would definitely place her. I wouldn't say necessarily it's like top of the line. I think it's really good for him because he uses it with Han and that makes it really deadly. But I would say Bella is a solid, Bella is a solid unit. Bella is a hella solid unit just because of artifacts, additional damage artifacts. I'm pretty sure she's not, yeah, she's not on the list because not that many people use it. Belly Bear! How are you doing? Oh yeah, can, can I, if I just type that? But then I have to make like the title and like add command and that kind of stuff. I took too much effort, too much, too much effort. Wait, can I actually do it? Can somebody link the... Uh, the no one can see this but me. <laughs> I made this by myself. It's local store, like lo local storage data. Like I can only access this. Someone's asking for a light vampire. That's, that, that, that's something with friends. Light vampire. Yes, it's one of those units. You do not want to use. <laughs> That's right. Stream laggy. His stream could be laggy from time to time. Julian is probably not even on the list because who would you use him? Who would you use him? Uh, Velagil. Can't miss out Velagil. I feel like he's not being used as much anymore and he's also not that great, but he can still be used from time to time. Velagil, 48. Fair, fair. Fair, fair, fair. Viva Chell, also known as Visa Chell. Still think it's a pretty solid unit. I think the win rate kind of dropped. Viva, close to 50. I don't know why Viva Chell is that underrated, to be honest. I don't know why FIFA chose that underrated because it's technically a Triana or no, yeah, it's technically a Triana with higher base stats on skill 1 and skill 2 with a skill 3 that can always kill at some point. So, I feel FIFA, FIFA chose is, is not that bad. You're forgetting Daphnis. I'm not forgetting anything. I'm not done, honey. <laughs> it's just at some point I just keep scrolling up and down and up and down and... Okay, let's go for Daphnis. I think Daphnis is a bad unit. It's a coin flip unit. It's like if you want to go for like a 50-50 chance, like just flip a coin. Do I win or do I lose? Daphnis is your thing. But even if, like let's say Daphnis kills something, then Daphnis get killed off pretty easily as well. If they give Daphnis an... Uh, shield plus an one turn immunity on a kill of S3 that will make Daphnis hella OP. Where's Harmonia? Who uses Harmonia? Oh wait, people that use like Molong Harmonia because that's the most boring comp in freaking life. What's Harmonia win rate? Harmonia. <laughs> uh, Harmonia is such a. Uh, that's legit a dumb unit. Get, get get this thing one tier lower. Get that thing out of the 70s. Thrain. Who uses Thrain in RTA? Who uses Thrain in RTA? 
Why would you use threat in RTA? I think maybe in low ranks people do it, but I wouldn't necessarily be like... It's just a bad version of a Rika, kind of. Let's say put Thrain here. Thrain is... I'm, I would be surprised if Thrain is on the list, yeah. Thrain... Thrain... Th uh, Rain, no, no, I use Thrain. People were asking for Dover. Put Dover in the list. Dover, 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 Dover. The issue is that Dover is that squishy. Like, Dover is a decent turn 2 bomber. It is, but his base HP is somewhere like 8,500 something. Which is just... Yeah, I don't know. Lanette, yeah, because this. It's a magic mic. Lanette is a magic mic! Light druids. Light druid. Dry it. Dry it, druids. I feel he's bad. Some people disagree with me, but I feel he's bad. Yeah, it's, it's not bad, bad, but I feel like he's kind of bad. It's like, sure, he provokes and he glances, but then you put a Juno against it and you just heal the unit. Yeah. <laughs> not that great, not that great. Wait, let me actually check how far the siege is. How far blue mapping are we? We are pretty blue mapping. <laughs> okay, we're blue mapping the shit out of this map. Okay, that's fine. Some bisons. Let's let's talk some bisons. We, we, we got a dark bison. And I'm pretty sure none of them are in the list. I've seen this one and it looks really cool. But in the end, it doesn't really work. Like his cycle of like provoking, getting HP, getting a turn, provoking again, blah, blah. Sounds really cool. But the moment you get resisted once, you just throw a bomb at it and you just die. So yeah, funnish unit, but no, would not really recommend to use. And then we have Cigar. I think it's Cigar. I've played against him once today. It's like the first time I've played against him, and to be honest, I was not really impressed. I think he can have his usage, but I was not that impressed. Fran! The one and only unit that's been used a lot, always used a lot, still used a lot, but is never that OP. <laughs> Probably 50. Yeah, that's as close as 50 as you can get. But solid 80, still. Solid 80. The Dark Unicorn. I'm scooping over that. That that's that's go away. Why are I selecting like super random units at some points that are that far out? Alexandra, I think Alexandra's pretty pretty decent actually. Would I put Alexandra one tier up? I think I would actually put you one tier up. I think Alexander was pretty good. How is Chiu 65? Chiu 65 because this thing it just annihilates Chiu. And so many other things annihilate Chiu. I use Dark Bison's Fermion with Monkey for his revenge. Yeah, like they're decent for their, their, their things, but they're not that great. I think I can one up you. I can one up you. Where's Fermion? People have been asking about the Fermion, the Dark Archangel. I think Fermion was better when it was like more of a cleave meta. With the cleave meta, it was pretty good. But currently, not so much. Not so much. Ethna, that's not an Ethna. Ethna, yes, sir. Ethna, Ethna, Ethna. I think 75. Or 80. Doubt in between 75 and 80. What should we win rate? Ethna, 47 point. I would say 75. I feel like Ethna is decent. But it's not that great. Is it now? Ba, da, 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 da. Put Fermion trash tier. It's 
Fermi on that right? No, well, actually, I see Fermi on almost never. Okay, I got, I got the. I, I gotta like rearrange some units because why are these higher than that? These units are pretty much never used. Yeah, no, I got I, I, I gotta lower these. I gotta lower these. They're not necessarily trash. They're not as trash as this. I think we got nothing in the trash. I think I'm gonna remove trash. Yeah, I think I'm gonna remove trash. Trash sounds so mean. I'm gonna remove trash. Athna 80 in your book. Um... Mm. Uh, need a decent stretch to think about Ethna. Mm. Ethna is good for the speed lead. You can stun one unit, steal its immunity, and then have immunity for that one next turn. Is she as good as a Savannah Barbara? That kind of stuff. Mm hmm. She is better than Hathor, for example. Yeah, she she's more used than other units. Her her pick rate is quite a bit higher. So yeah, I feel like that's fair. And I feel like it would be fair if we say fair the heal. I think fair the heal. I think I want to one up you as well. Yeah, I think I've won up Verdi Hill simply because he's used that much more than everything that's in here. Yeah. yeah Verdi Hill gets a 1-up just because of like, sure your win rate isn't the highest, but your pick rate is really that high. So it's... It's... It's valued. It's high valued. Hmm, Fire Monkey, another one of those units you do not want to use, and if you're using it, you should stop using it, <laughs> because Mr. Mei Ho Wang is rocking a 43% win rate. Yeah, it's one of those units, it's just, it's just one of those units. Yeah. 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 Let's go for the other mermaid, Tetra. As sir counter picks, that kind of stuff can be used, but 9 out of 10 Tetra is not that great. 9 out of 10 Tetra is just not that great. Put water bison in the trash. Man, I, I can like select all and put it in the trash. Like, let's say, um, add trash. Let's actually go for trash. Let's go for that because otherwise I'm just dragging like every unit that you don't use in RTA in that thing So everything you do not find on this list is the trash tier <laughs> that, That's the actual trash tier And then I'm gonna forget like one or two units and I'm like, oh, why is my unit in trash tier? I'm human too. I forget like I've been placing the, I've been recording for like man. I, I gotta like make such a long list of all the timestamps right now. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass. It's gonna be such a pain in the ass. Fang Yang. I think Fang Yang actually has a decent amount of like things he counts in current meta that he could actually be used. But yep, that. What's his win rate? Fang Yang forty eight. Yeah, it's actually. Uh, I, I would one up you for that. No. Nah. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I want to be for that. I think he actually counters some of the current meta, like reasonable. Like I feel he's not too bad. Dark Panda. Dark Panda actually was pretty good to counter Miho meta, or not Miho meta, uh, Molly meta, but currently... Mm, the same, same, like last pick bruiser-ish kind of thing, somewhat, somehow, thing-ish thing. Okay, let's go for some Lulu and friends. You know what the win rate on Lulu and friends is? It's actually fucking high. But I noticed that the people that are using, if we go like Lulu and friends, like Lulu and friends is fucking 55% win rate. I got to start making a Lulu and friends. What the fuck is this win rate? But then I started checking 
because with this thing I can also check like for example oh I'm, I made such a smart thing wait so if I go this and we go uh, ragdoll so then I can check like the win rate for a, a unit but I can also check it like combined so this thing it goes through all of my matches because it's not like optimized and whatever it's like super slow but I mostly keep just like running on the background anyway so that's the thing but you can actually see the win rate of like two units combined for example so later i'll take some requests for people that want to see some two units combined because there's so many combinations and the thing is actually really slow to load but lulu and friends actually has an insane amount of high win rate so i think lulu and friends is no that's bastet bastet was get your, get your ass back to 65. that's scan can was okay I really have to be secure with clicking right now because there's so much things like switching right now that the, the this thing is like yo it's not chill to have that many units. That's Van Cliff, stay there. That's Asima. Why the fuck I'm not clicking on that? Lulu and friends, yes. I feel like it's it has to be 80. I feel like it has to be 80. This thing is not even done yet. <laughs> Yeah, it's Lulu with Arda and Lulu with like Ragdo and that kind of stuff. But I also feel like if you just go like any like bruiser thing and even like the thing is why Lulu and Friends is that good is because Lulu and Friends is actually one of the hardest counters on Okeanos. And that makes Lulu and Friends because there's not too many water, like how many water units are there that can cleanse other units too and also heal. There's really little. So... I feel like Lulu and Friends is pretty good to counter Okeanos and I think it's gonna like it I think it's gonna be more popular at some point that Lulu and Friends is gonna be the counter to Okeanos. Yeah, Lulu and Friends have to, uh, a win rate of 64% together. So that's just uh that's pretty retarded. But you also see like Okeanos has a 32% win, uh, win rate against Lulu and Friends and Ragdoll, which is like one of the main counters you want to do with that. So, yeah, and if we would just see, wait, I, I forgot which one was the Lulu and Friends. Let it load in the background again, but yeah. Why are the Magic Knights so high? Because there are Magic Mics. Read! Okay, um, let's continue. We have an Elucia, which is not that used that much anymore, but I still think it's a pretty solid unit. What's your win rate? Hey, Lucia. 44, what? No. No. I feel like it's... Nah, I feel like Lucia's pretty solid. I feel like Lucia's pretty solid. Sure, you can slap her into every match, but I feel like she's pretty, pretty solid. <laughs> Ariel. Oh, I had one person... I had one person playing Ariel against me. And that thing did absolutely nothing. <laughs> that thing was absolutely like... It was like, oh, that could be something. Oh, like you can cleanse something that I place and then... Oh, what's this unit doing again? What's this unit doing again? Oop, that, that's where I was. You need to rank my Phalantis higher. I need to nothing. <laughs> no, sorry, man. Like, l let me show you... The win rate of Phalantis. You, you you want this higher? You 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 legit want this higher? <laughs> Man. Yeah. Well, Lucia is higher, but yeah. Would I want down Lucia because she's that low on win rate? Well win rates do say something, right? I would say so Lucia's not that bad. <laughs> put him in trash here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I won down Elusia just because of the win rate. Because it's really that low. Have you got Jaeger in yet? Yeah, that's this is Jaeger. This is Leo. And this is Rackle. Mi Ying, I got Mi Ying in here. 70. Hmm, what else, what else, what else? Uh, do, do I really have to like put in every like 
cleave unit like Rocky can be used for cleave but I don't recommend to cleave um, what else do we have we have a whole bunch more of that Taylor Taylor is actually in Taylor is like semi legit like I'm not gonna lie but it's like a worse fun like it's a worse Poseidon kind of yeah oh, one down it's a worse Poseidon with a lower base speed and it gets fucked by water or by wind yeah um zero two zero two yes sir zero two uh, 70 ish fun damage unit a chroma a chroma i haven't seen a chroma what's the win rate on the chroma actually decent decent not too bad what's the pick rate on okeanos high 77 <laughs> percent of which 73 percent of the time is first pick yeah. So let's see an Acroma. I always value Acroma pretty high. Like people always bash like, oh, why is Acroma this high? Ah, Acroma should be lower, blah, 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 yada, yada. But I feel like Acroma is still and always has been a really good counter to the whole speed cleave meta. And therefore is a pretty solid unit. And therefore I value it pretty high. And if you don't use her well, ah, Chroma 50, come on, it's a high win rate. It's definitely high win rate. It counters like, you don't, you don't first pick a Chroma. No, of course not. But if you like fourth, fifth pick a Chroma, deadly unit, a highly deadly unit. I would, yeah, a Chroma would highly value. Absolutely. 85. People are going to disagree with this. I don't care. I feel like a chroma. Is it better than this? All of this here. Mm. Mm. So, Magu, how are you doing? Mm. Peter is here at ninety. Mm. No, I feel like a chroma kind of fits at eighty-five. It, it's such a hard counter. Like the moment people go like Nefties, Chung Pung, uh, more. Well, more is kind of like fucking chung, uh, uh, chroma, but. If you go like these units, and then you just draft in a chroma, it's just, it's smooth sailing. It's just a hard counter. Tableau! Tableau Escobar. Which is a really solid unit too. I think ta Tableau Escobar is a solid 80. Tableau. Tableau. This. 50. Hmm. I feel like he's, he's pretty solid. Um, but he's mainly solid, like, in the combination, like, Tablo Escobar with, like, Jemire and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Light Camera, Sean, the other LD5 of Mr. Evelipete. Uh, Where are the Camaras at? Eeny, meeny, miny Camara. Ah, here. I feel it's one of those units that... If you use it, it could be niche, but I don't really recommend it. Time to bring back twin cleaves. I would love that they prefer like the twins <laughs> like nerf. Would be nice. What about Perna? Who uses Perna in RTA? Perna is gonna be in the trash tier because it's not on the list. Like I don't even want to put Perna on the list. <laughs> Tiana. Tiana is gonna be. 55, 60. It's one of those units you don't want to pick as well. Mm. People are asking for this guy. Yogan. And he is terrible. Yep. Terrible. Don't use him. No, he, he, he's... Uh, would I feel bad for Garo? No. <laughs> nope. Can I see the full tier list? Yeah, we can go like a quick through. I can take a small break. Uh, this is what we currently have. A faint memory uses Perna. Faint memory also uses math. Doesn't mean it's good. Like it's at it, at some point it's kind of the um what's it called the 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 legacy um 
the let's call it the legacy theorem it's calling any unit good because you use it with other units that are really good but that doesn't make the unit really good <laughs> that's kind of like he was highly spamming orphelia which was a terrible unit but he was spamming that with vert sierra and lauren which were really meta at that time it's like yeah <laughs> so yeah you, and you can make any unit good if you pair it with like other really good units May I ask why Dark Lapis is so high? Because Dark Lapis is a Magic Mike. And Magic Mike is a Dragonite. Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Magic Mike is... Well, that's... Th 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 that's just me. I call I call that I call them magic mics. Eleanor. Wait, I always forget if this is Eleanor or this is Ellen. I think this is Eleanor and this is Eleanor. I don't know. I always forget. But Pony, you're a worse version of Amelia. So you get one minus one minus on Amelia. Are you really the worst? Yeah, you're worse. So Recto is 100. Correcta Mundo. Uh, this is always a fun one to place because everyone that doesn't have her would place her somewhere up here. And everyone that does have her and actually understands that she's pretty trash would place her somewhere down here. <laughs> but... That's, that is, it's one of those units people are always gonna be like, ah, oh, that could be so OP if you do like this plus Ganymede and then you go Chunk Pong and then you, you you put a Juno against it and an Artemil and then like uh, it just dies. <laughs> like the, the thing is with that, like legit, if you go this, you just put a Jolt and then you press auto. <laughs> yeah, Chiwu is 65. Chiwu is... And I can show you why Chiwu is 65. Chiwu! <laughs> that. Yeah, the Chiwu win rate is um, low balling. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's no bueno. Eleanor, I would be surprised if Eleanor is even on. Eleanor is pretty high, but that, that's one or two guys spamming it with like ragdolls and stuff. And Eleanor is not even on the list. You know why? Because people that have her don't use her. You know why? Because she's bad. So that's, yeah. 65. And this one just has a high win rate because people that spam it with high, high stuff. It's not really that much of a good unit. People are asking about Charlotte. Is Charlotte even on the list? Charlotte is on the list. Charlotte is freaking high. Charlotte is just a stupid cleave unit. It's nothing special compared to any of the other stupid cleaves units. So that's right about there. Icarus. Is Icarus even on the list? Icarus. Oh, uh, it's a guess. 51. Mm -hmm. Could be it could be used. Could be used with Mo Long and that kind of stuff. I'm not too big a fan of it, but see some uses of it here and there. Your that's an undying. Where that unit at? Wait, which one is it? Cars again. Uh, beta. People are not using beta anymore. People are not using beta. Ashibel. Ashibel is like. Uh, Ashibel is one of those units you also don't want to use. Ashibel is the worst version of Hathor, which you also don't really want to use that much anymore. Frigga, though. Uh, it's also one of those units that's really niche if you have the team of like Han and that kind of stuff, but without that, no. Iliana. Iliana got really popular at some point. And then, like, just dropped off. No one s s used her anymore and that kind of stuff. Mm, where is Iliana? Neostone Agents. Which is... Da, 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 da. I can't find these networks. 
Can you show the stats? The stats like somewhere like 65, 60. Don't even remember where I placed her, but I placed her there with a reason, and that reason was solid. Man, I'm doing this for two hours already. I'm going crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna search for units. I'm just gonna find one, place it in. Going a bit. I'm I'm gonna wrap up some speed. So, Ophelia, you don't want to use. <laughs> it's one of those like, it's 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 is this this bad of don't want to use. Uh, Lucian, it is the worst meta for Lucian right now. Okay, where where is this thing at? Yeah, Lucian, let's go. It's a really bad Lucian meta. Let's go, uh, Lucian. Um, other units. Oh, this is also one of those fun units you should absolutely not use. Did you put bearing? I put bearing and I put bearing in eighty. But I feel like Bering is mostly good because of the units he's paired with, like a Han and that kind of stuff. Like without it, it's... Eh. Maybe I want down Bering. Do I want down Bering? Yeah, because normal people cannot use Bering, only like Han people can use Bering. One down for Bering. Raul. Raul. Oh, Amduet. Amduet is actually a decent unit. I'm surprised not more people use Amduet against Chunk Pong. Probably because it doesn't work that well. Amduet. Yeah, it's not even on the list. I feel like it could be used. Hair tied. Let's see if we can find him real quickly. Da, 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 da. Lightning Emperor. Where you at? Where you at? Air tights. Niche unit, but does need a fair amount of setup. Um, either 70 or 75. Let's see if there is a... He is not on the list. People are not using him. Okay, 70, I guess. Helena. Helena is also not on the list yet. Helena, what's Helena win rate? It's actually pretty high. It is actually pretty high. Only person I know that is using her is uh, Shen, but he's using her with Arda Ragdoll, and that's that's the legacy paradigm. You could put like you could put like freaking Ritesh next to Ragdoll Arda, and then like oh Ritesh could do is good. Like, yeah. But turn two cleave ish kind of units. Da, 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 da. It can be used. It can be used. Um, is she better than the other turn two cleavers? Okay, I think I have to one up Chiwu. I do have to one up Chiwu because he's more used than whatever trash is in this. This is this is all trash that's never used, and this is just semi mediocre trash that you should should not use, kind of thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I got I I gotta give some credits to Chiwu because he's still usable. He's still usable. It's just not that good. But he's still usable from time to time. Ileana. I was trying to fight Ileana, but then I couldn't. <laughs> oh, here. I just found her. Ileana, one of those units that... It just doesn't do enough. Like, sure, you have a shield, but everything strips these days. Like, either single target, multi-target, whatever. Everything strips these days. So, it's not that great. Chun Li's Dark Chun Li. I don't even think that's a weird ass strip. Weird ass strip fits in here. Same with a weird ass cleave. People were like, oh, this thing is gonna be hella OP for cleaving. Uh, Leo. <laughs> You're done. Uh, Leo. Maybe even here. I think I have to push you down here as well. <laughs> You're trash. You bad. To be honest, one of those is actually decent, but I forgot which one. <laughs> the other ones are not used. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, I think the dark one. So, people were playing with the dark one, but that one is actually... I played against it, like, once or twice. It's one of those units that's... Like, don't even bother. 
Gemini. I think Gemini is one of those units you also don't really want to use anymore. But still as could be used, could be used. A Lydia, a Phoenix. I've seen some Cleaves work with it, but I feel like you shouldn't. Freya. Who uses Freya? Uh, like legit people use Freya? Wait, this is Icarus, right? I always f mess up like the pictures who, who's Icarus and who's not, but I'm pretty sure this is Icarus. Icarus, Icarus, Icarus. Correct me if this is not Icarus, but I think it's Icarus. Where is this Ashubel? Wait, are you Ashubel? <laughs> That's the only pictures I always mess up. No, this is Ashubel. This is, yeah, this is Icarus. Okay, uh, I feel like she has some decent usage here and there sometimes. People also use Mammoth Wind, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has anyone tried Elven Ranger in high RTA? I think Shem tried, but then it didn't work. So Lulu is the best healer with immunity in the game. No, I think I think healer immunities um Fran and Lulu share same spot. The only thing is for some cases you want um, the water element and for some cases you don't want any element. That That's kind of the difference. Covenant. Who uses Covenant in RTA? Weird as cliff shit. Well, actually he's picked 1% of the time, so I should place him in there, I guess. I guess. Oh, my neck is stiff. Empty Schnapper. One of those. One of those. Is Tian Lang a counter pick? Yes, Tian Lang is mainly a counter pick. The only reason Tian Lang is 95 and not 100 is because he's not slappable in every match. Trinity. Why are people using Trinity? They, like, I don't know why Trinity is not an attack type. <laughs> <laughs> like to be honest all three skills of her do damage and do nothing else why the fuck would she not be in tech type? i think she would be right about there I, I i feel like she's okay on like triple fight for the lead or something i don't even know what would you would use her um tiana tiana is a polar queen polar queens go uh, here, ish. Hey gang, I already placed Hey gang, and Hey gang is somewhere. Where's Hey gang? I think I placed him. Oh, Hey gang is here at sixty. He's terrible. He is terrible. Tessarion. Tessarion is actually a decent unit. Yeah, yeah. Tessarion, yes. It's a decent unit. It is kind of a counter on the uh, on the meta, but he doesn't do his job that well. Like I, I feel like for Tessarion, wait, Oof. <laughs> I feel like for Tessarion, his Oblivion should be no resistance check. That's my opinion. His Oblivion, no resistance check, always lands. Then you have like a decent unit that kind of counters like the meta. That's that's in what my opinion they should do with the Tessarion, and then he, he's a fine unit <laughs> because it can still be like cleansed and that kind of stuff. Where is the link? Uh, there's no link yet. Odin. Are people using Odin in RTA still? I've seen it from time to time, but it's also one of those. One of those. One of those. But uh, I have not seen it being used that much, but I feel like it's also just for the Han users, to be honest. Just for Han users. Fire buys, I've never seen a single person use Fire Bison in RTA. So it's trashed here. Mm. Abelio, 
Belial, Belial, Belial. It's actually a semi-decent-ish healer. It doesn't bring that much to the table. Uh, Sean, I see some people use it still. Don't really recommend it, but it is usable. Currently, it's just filling that kind of stuff. Cadiz. 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 Vampire with a V. Oh, someone's asking for Isis. I can't remember the last time I saw fucking Isis in RTA. Can't remember the last time I saw that one. Um. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh yeah, this guy. That looks really cool on paper, but then it's actually really freaking terrible. Uh, Leo is up here. 85. Uh, what else do we have? What else do we have? I feel like I have to put Rogue in there, because some people like to Rogue. Get these nuts. I think I put Ariel in there already somewhere. Somewhere did I? Yeah, Ariel here, 55. I can't find the vampires. I'm looking over it. Oh, here. A vampire. Get these nuts. 60 ish. Dark Ryu Triple S. No, Dark Ryu is 70. Camilla, why do. Man, if you Camilla on RTA, you, you, you're just boring people to death. But on the right setup, it could counter a full fire team. But who uses a full fire team? Can't really think of one. Galdir, no one uses Galdir in <laughs> Lauren, I actually haven't picked... I, this is Laura though, but... Which is a semi-bad stripper. Um, Lauren, 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 where is she at? Cowgirl. Three star with a C. I think she's not used that much anymore, but I think she can still have some use. Uh, the wet ass master is here. Perna. Why are people you th talking about Perna? What's the thing with Perna and RTA? Like, if you're using Perna and RTA, stop using Perna and RTA. He's, he's as good as this. He doesn't get that much better. Like, I would legit rather use a Trevor in RTA than a Perna. I actually think Trevor is not gonna lie. Trevor, like, could be could be a thing. Like, yeah. Does Seth has any use in RTA? Mm, then no. Do, do, you, do, do, do you want to TOA hard someone in RTA? Well, you can with Rika, but with Seth, nah. I don't, I don't think so. Would be really niche if you want to get away with that, but... I don't see it, I don't see it. Sylvia. Also a unit you don't really see in RTA. This one you see sometimes. I'm not sure why, but you see it sometimes. Same as this one. It's not that great. Really, wouldn't really recommend like using it, but you could, you could. You could. Akia. Akia, Akia, Akia. That's a succubus. It's not a bad unit, but wouldn't really recommend to use. Light Ryu. I've never seen a single freaking Light Ryu in RTA. 
So the well, let's call it trash tier. Same for the art mess. I've never seen a single one in RT8. Yeah. Katarina. Uh, if you go Katarina. It can work. We, we've seen like. Takish work with it. But. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't necessarily know. If you want to. Use a Katarina in RT. I want down it. It's too specific. It's really, really specific. Like you gotta build your whole team around that, and then they're like, okay, you could get away with it. Narsha, Narsha is the worst beast rider, or one of the worst, but it can still be used. Can still be used. Um, I see some people use Beth, so I kind of have to put her in there, but I have to put her in a slot where it's like, you do not want to use this. You do not want to use that. What else do we have? What else do we have? Kicklet. Wind Ryu. Oh, that's like a bad deafness. You don't want to use it. I think Kicklet can actually have some decent usage. I think she's not that bad. Not used much, but not that bad. So Miho is triple S like everyone in F3 thinks she is. Uh, no, Miho is 75. She's at a 50-50 win rate, so. It's not a bad unit, but you can't slap it into everything. This thing, this thing, some people use it as well, which is a pretty legit last pick. Like, it is actually a pretty legit last pick. It's a weird unit, but the constant provoke and counter, like the, the constant provoke and like that kind of stuff, it's actually pretty decent. Is hair tight up there? Hair tight is... I think I put hair tight here at 70. It needs a bit too much setup for my like. Uh, Xenia, I think I put her here at 65 for 70, where did I put her? Where is she? I think I put her in there already. Can't find her at the moment. Or did I misplace her somewhere, somewhat? Oh, here, 70. Yeah, 70 feels fair. 70 feels fair. Decent cleave unit. But not that great. Would I maybe one down that? Hmm. 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 still trash. Yeah. What is the placeholder for the first at one hundred? That's Ragdoll. Why is Bella so high up? Multi hits artifacts. What about Leica? Leica is sixty five. I think. Wait, where did I put Leica? Yeah, 65. The Water Demon. Let's find Water Demon. I think he's pretty terrible. I've seen some people use him, but I think he's pretty terrible. Yeah, he's pretty terrible. Balanus is here at... I think he put him 75, please. I think we got most of it in there right now. Or pretty much all. More as a hundred? Yes. El Sharion. I haven't seen people use that in a while, but I've seen people use it in the past. Shimite, yeah, Shimite is actually used. Same as Kali. Kali is bad. 
Shimite is also bad. They fit together really well. Tyron, no one uses Tyron in our team. That's that, 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 that's where we draw the line. Mm, let's just put those one up both of them. Yeah. Wind Artmaster. Wind Artmaster is up here. Nyx is I think in the 80s. Yes. Jilton. Jilton is actually used. He's really niche. Wouldn't really recommend to use him much. But I think you can actually use Jolton, which is just a, a counter to... Um, what's it called? Like a lot of things that just AoE a lot. Zigzag or Zig uses Tyrone. Really? What rank is he? What rank is he? Christina, uh, not on the list. <laughs> Need to be 1% pick rate. Well, this list is 1% pick rate. Um, my art, my, my tier list is a little bit more than that. But, yeah. Fairy Slide, New Mali, no. He's G3, really? With Tyron? Never seen any replay of him. Hmm. Oh, it's getting late. I've been doing this for the last two and a half hours. This is this is tiring. <laughs> Wait, how many? I play so many units, man. This is crazy. Like so many people are gonna be like, oh, I disagree with this. I disagree with this. Like, I I can be honest. Like everything that's like a hundred to seventy five, I'm pretty like certain where I place it seventy also, and then like afterwards, it's just a, a mixture mash of whatever is. Not that great to use. He uses Tiana and Tyron. Yeah, some people, they, they, they do it for the content. For the content. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's good. Put Jara where he belongs. Yes. Trash, aka not on the list. Ferrat, trash, aka not on the list. I'd say the list is done to be honest. Yeah, I'm. Oh, 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 we miss Ranuki. I, I can't make a list without Ranuki. Philippe would kill me. I, I won a match with Ranuki yesterday. With Ranuki yesterday, he's actually not that bad. Have to put in the Ranuki. Oh, and bulldozer. Any other terrible-ish net force we want to put in there? Um, ba, 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 Chloe, oof, no, get away with Chloe. I've seen one or two people use it, but uh, that's... if you can get away with Chloe in RTA, the, 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 your enemy might as well just 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 hit up. At least my man is not trash. You could use it. Dark Elven Ranger. Who in his bright mind would use a Dark Elven Ranger? Like, he's good in TOA Hell, but that's about it. <laughs> Never seen anyone use it. Sylvia. If Sylvia had a 33 speed lead, would be nice. Otherwise, currently, in current state, I would not really recommend to use it. I want up the Jolton. Do I want to put in Bernard and Kabila? Is Aegir still used? No. Galleon, Clara, Water, Succubus. Ugh. Go away. No one uses these units. No, like, like, uh, ne next thing you're asking me to put fucking Chasun in the list. <laughs> Rahul. Rahul is used. Rahul is used. Yeah, Rahul is used. Not to great success, but why is he? No, no, not to great success. Clara. Clara is actually no longer used, but used to be used. Does that count? Clara, because she has perfect AI, so you can actually play your battles on auto. 
<laughs> oh, if you want inconsistent, like in, in, inconsistent ass, you go for this. Fireblade dancer, people use that. Light dry up, no one uses that. Argon, no one uses that. Orion Draco. Uh, I have to put in Draco because people. Wait, what's the win rate of Draco? He's probably in there. Draco's in, yeah, Draco. <laughs> what about Obabo Eger? That's just that that that's definitely like you could legit go. That, that that's just the uh, the legacy syndrome, and the legacy syndrome is like okay, we use a few of really OP units, and then we use a unawakened minotaur next to it, and the unawakened minotaur is OP. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could have placed anything there that would have probably been better than the fucking unawakened minotaur. Yeah, okay. Mm, I had one in mind that I wanted to place. But then I forgot it. Ah, the bay! Nah, you're trash. <laughs> He's a little bit more than trash. He's semi trash. Eastland. Oh, I don't like this Elven Rangers thing. Never seen anyone use it. Okay, Draco, because you're actually used, so you're not trash, because you're actually used, but you're really close to trash. Chris. Wait, Chris, then that's Fami. Where's Chris? Chris is actually a decent unit. Okay. Isolin and trash units. Light Dryad. No, Light Dryad is not on the list, but currently we're just placing a whole bunch of random retarded shit. Nah, she's actually better. She is actually legit. Like, if you don't expect her to come and then she's there and you don't really know what she's doing. Yeah. Why is Hey Gang that bad? I can show you. <laughs> this is pretty bad. Camila's on the list. Yeah, Camila's on the list because Camila is on the list here as well. Camila is used in more than 1%. Like, Camila is used in 180 matches almost in the fucking 17,000 matches that were seen in this data. Like, who the fuck uses Camilla? Like, give me this free win. Like, what the hell? Why is Iris so high? Because she's a magic mic. A magic mic is Dragon Knight. Um. <laughs> Can we lie win rate than Garo? Yeah, G Garo is a Gucci unit, man. Garo is a Gucci unit. I think we're kind of done. I think we're kind of done. Kraka. Kraka could be used. She's not that trash, but she's pretty trash. At least she can despair stun some. Thing maybe -ish. Mephisto. Oh, I see some people use Mephisto. Yeah, I should place Mephisto. I should place Mephisto. Mephisto. Skogo. No, not a Skogo. No one in my right mind uses that. Mephisto. He's a bit more than trash. He is a bit more than trash. Yeah, he's decent. I think I've won up Chris. No, that's not Chris. That's that's this terrible thing. Wait, where, where 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 did you come from? Where did you go? I think you were there. Yeah, you are actually pretty trash. I'm not sure where you were, but you are trash. Well, not trash, trash. Chris won up. Yes. Is there usage record for Wind Brownie? Not in the. N n not in the no no well 
probably there's some users, but probably like what five matches or something, you know, less seventeen thousand. No, I think I got everything. I think I got everything that is on the list. Asher Fingyang, from Alusion Bonus, Twitter. Tiana, I think, I, yeah, I placed Tiana, William, Baron, Odin, Curse, Elusia, Sigmet, Lauren, Ogon, Ken, Sion, Valantis, John, Farad, Farad is actually used, okay, then we have to place in Farad. Then I have to place in Farad. Then I feel like I have to play as infrared, but it's still a terrible unit. The Sarion I already placed at 70. Sarion already placed at 70. Okay, then we continue. We got Mina Shimte, that Sanction Law, yes, Gemini is a rep, Charlotte, yes, Lucifer Garo, then Camilla Covenants. I think the whole list is in there. When will it be on YouTube? Tomorrow. Is that user data available somewhere? Nope. It's just my local hosts. Lagmaron is not on the list. Yes, I don't have to place it in. <laughs> well, I placed in some units that are actually not on the list because this list is, like the tier list is fuller than the thing itself. Okay, Lagmaron. I see some people, I've seen some people use it, but it's, it's, uh, this. Let's call in that extra zone. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're Gucci. Oh man, this this is so much work. This is so so much work. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna go over our last look. If I want to change anything, if I see anything that I want to like up down. Go side to side, well side to side doesn't mean anything here in this list, but if I want to do anything up or down. So the hundreds I feel is fair. The 95 Yeah, is fair. Like the 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 hundreds they can be used all the time spent in every match. 95 can be like some of them can be spent in every match, some are just really good in whatever they do. Yes. 90 just really strong solid units but cannot be spammed everywhere cannot be used everywhere yes 85 same story but a little bit less except for sierra which can be spammed in a lot of things counters the meta counters the meta good solid units this i think is maybe it's a bit overrated because i've seen obabo have that much success with it and that's maybe like a room quality thing rather than if the unit being that good huh yeah i won't down you for that because if one person has good success with it then yes lanette is is ragdoll this is ragdoll this is uh jaeger this is leo and so on wind striker is really good for this meta no he's not people are not reading people, Ma magic mike is dragonite and he has Han, yes. So yeah, I think Bella, yeah, 80 is fine. But I still think even if you don't have Han, I still think Bella would be pretty strong. I never seen Lanette and RTA. Me neither. <laughs> like, who in his right mind would play Lanette in RTA? Come on. Okay, going on. So yeah, that minus one, I think that's fair. Would I minus two? No, I feel like minus one because this unit actually, the moment people start putting like heavy artifacts on it, it is pretty good. Um, Juno, yes. I don't feel like Juno should be any higher than this. No, nope. I feel like it's fine. Molly one up, maybe. No, I feel like Molly is fine in the current score, like section she is in. Mo Long is pretty high though. I feel like compared to this, how often this is used, how often is Mo Long used? Mo Long. 
Molong is used 13% of the time, which is still a decent pick rate. Why does Barbara have such a low uh, win rate? Uh, Barbara has a low win rate because she can get you first turn, but it doesn't necessarily mean like... Uh, Barbara doesn't have CC, it just gives you the first turn. So it's, it's pretty much the same as just picking a uh, Bernard um, in your RTA team. And... Then you have first turn and then the other three units have to like either kill something or someone. So it's not always as easy to make a kill like just on base on the first turn of Barbara. Plus she's hard countered by Leo, she's hard countered by a whole bunch of stuff. So she is a good unit, but I think she's overused. And because of her being overused, she has a lower win rate. I think that's the, that's the Barbara issue. Like you're good, but not that good. Why is Fire Ryu that high? Wait, Fire Ryu, I think he's a really, I think he's a better, uh, I think he's a good counter to pretty much the meta if they go like heavy uh, wind. Let's say they go like Chung Pong, uh, Savannah and Ganymede and Sierra or something, well it's really heavy wind, but let's say they go something like that. You go Douglas, he slaps the shit out of your like wind AoEs. He slaps the shit out of your wind AoEs. He slaps the shit out of your other AoEs. He's pretty much where you would pick a Lyca to solo a team. You should put Douglas and he probably does that but better. <laughs> does Harmonia get picked often with Molong? Yeah, I still get picked pretty often with Molong. But Harmonia I don't like that much as a unit. Harmonia is down here. Molong is up here. But I feel like maybe minus warning more long. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I minus one more long. I minus one more long because his win rate is not that great. Um, he's picked a decent amount, but he's more a counter pick, whereas most of these units can be picked into more of like a little bit of everything and this is not you you shouldn't spam it yeah i think this is uh, i think this is the list this is the list so the video will be uploaded tomorrow um that will be a sick as long video but i'm gonna make all timestamps in it which is gonna be a pain in the ass because i gotta do timestamps for i don't know how long Guys, thanks for watching. This was the tier list. Took me a lot of time to make. If you can, like this video, subscribe to the channel. It just helps me out. This was, <laughs> this was like, it took me pretty much like three hours to make this tier list. And that's just making a tier list and that's not like with the video. And I can... oh, wait, what? <laughs> no one ever used it before. No one even used it. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Okay, someone ruined my outro. Right? It's a ceiling pen. Thanks for the pities. But uh, um, yeah, so the took me about three hours to make, and then with like the whole video thing, it's it's gonna be it'll take me a whole bunch of time. So yes, yeah, so I'm gonna save this thing.